Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use duplicate hub plugin to back up your website and you can also use it to migrate your website to a different hosting or creating your staging site. I really like this backup plugin and it has more than million installation. So first thing you have to do is go to the WordPress admin area, then go to this add new plugin and from here um, just search for that plugin duplicator and you can see there is the first result duplicator by duplicator you have to first install this plugin and then activate it as you can see i have already done that once it is activated you will see it's available here duplicator from here go to packages and as i was telling you i really like this plugin because it because it creates backup in zip format so even if something goes wrong with this plugin you can always uh, somehow recover your files from the zip file and uh, do restoration manually so let's learn how to create a backup uh, for that you have to go here click on create new and this is the free version whatever you are seeing in this video is completely available for free if you want you can uh, also upgrade to pro if you like their features uh, and want the pro functionality so the first thing you have to do is create a name for your uh, backup package you can name it anything just do not leave uh, spaces if you want to have a space you can use underscore or hyphen and uh, then you can name it okay just name it something that uh, you would remember and after that you have to go to this uh, archive zip option here we have some uh, option filters available so for example if you have a really big website with a lot of media content, a lot of videos, a very large size images that you do not want to include it in your backup or let's say you are using a shared hosting and your backup process is not getting executed because of the large files. So you can use these filters. Click on enable here. Then for example, if I want to exclude the WP uploads where all the media files usually go so I can just click here and it will automatically uh, fill the path name similarly if you want to exclude any path then you can uh, manually write here and some of the common are available here WP uploads WP content um, cache and uh, so I will just clear that because I do not want to use this feature for this demo Similarly, uh, you can exclude any other folder if you want. Then scroll down and you will see this installer option. Usually it is collapsed like this. You just have to click here and uh, then here. Then I would suggest you to enable this password protection thing for the installer because when you are restoring your website, there is a chance that some bots may try to access the script and uh, for that protection is important. And it's a very simple thing. You can name it anything, even a simple password like pass123 is uh, better than nothing. So that's it. And then click on next. Now duplicator plugin will scan your website to see if there is any issues or you can complete the backup process. Here you will see mostly it's good. There is only one notice, so I don't have to worry about it. If there is a warning, then you will have to worry about it, okay? Now click on build. So depending on the size of your website, the backup process may take some time. As you can see, this is just a test installation. So it just took a few seconds. And then you will have these two files available, installer and the archive. So the zip file actually contains all the contents and this is just the installer. Now you can uh, save these files on your desktop, on your PC. Click on download both files. Click on save and as you will see that uh, Chrome will usually give you this uh, notification that when you are trying to download multiple files at once. So click on allow here and then also save this and do not change its name. Click on save. Now as you can see Chrome is again warning me about this uh, files and I know that this are uh, secure and I want to download so I will click on keep okay so the download is complete now let's learn how you can use these packages to restore your backup or you, if you want to migrate to a new hosting provider for that you have to go to the file manager 
for example i'm going to show you how to use the cpanel if you're using any other hosting provider then you can uh, use their file manager or you also can use the ftp to upload these files in cpanel you can see the file manager is available here and if you click here it will open like this okay so this is the new smart demo dot store demo um, subdomain i have created for this tutorial i will upload the files i will select both the files okay um, you can uh, only select one at a time so this uploading process is taking a little time i will show you how the website looks right now if you go here if i refresh this page you will see there is just a index php uh, file here there is no website and when we are done restoring you will see exa website exactly like this website i will also show you how it looks right now there's just a simple default wordpress installation nothing fancy here and our new this uh, demo store website should exa look exactly like this as you can see the upload process is complete for some odd reason it took a lot of time but let me show you the next steps now we'll go to the website or the new domain uh, where we want to restore it and uh, after your domain name type the installer file name usually by default it is installer.php but as you saw earlier i have changed it to installer underscore demo dot php and then click enter if you have entered the correct file name then it will automatically redirect you to the installer and here if you have opted for the password then uh, you will have to enter the password first or otherwise you can directly proceed to the next step so i will enter my password click on submit and here you can see the details it is the standard full site a full install single site here if you go to other archive tab here you can see the details of the archive when it was created the size uh, name and uh, the site details and all that okay so if you are migrating and you want to change the domain so when you use this method the domain can also be changed now in database you will have to create a new database if you want to use it for free if you are using cpanel and you want to do it automatically then you can also opt for the pro version but it's very simple to do uh, you can continue to use the free version so depending on the hosting panel again the option may be a little different uh, but the process is same here select create new data base now go to the hosting uh, control panel here i will scroll down and search for the database options mm, here you can see let's click here so first i will create a new database here you can name it uh, whatever you like create database uh, it has been created now we need to create a user and connect the database to the user so example this is the database we just created and you can see there is no user right now now scroll down here you will see the user option and save this password in a notepad click on create user now the user has been created go back now scroll down and here you will see this option now select the new user and the new database we just created and then click on add now you can give all privileges here click on make changes okay so it has been created now go back to the installation duplicator installer In password paste the password we just uh, created then this is the user copy this paste it here and this is the database copy this paste it here now scroll down and here also there is settings tab here you can see if you want to change the site title you can also do, i would recommend you to do it later after the installation is complete you can see the new site url will be this old was this so this duplicator installer will automatically change the url and also the path name so now let's go back here click on validate 
now duplicator will check if the passwords and username all uh, credentials you have provided are working or not if it is not working uh, you will see a message like this fail okay so i have selected the wrong option here create database um, you have to select this option empty database because the database we created is empty now click on validate now when you are restoring a website or using this plugin for restoring or migrating please be always be careful especially with the database if you select the wrong option without proper backups then uh, you may lose your site data now you can see the validations are all clear then click on here i have read and accept all terms and notices click on next and here make sure that in data you see this option no existing tables will be overwritten in the database it means that our current database which we selected for this installation is completely empty if there is already data in it then it will show here all the tables which will be overwritten then click on ok now you can see the extracting process has begun and again depending on the size of the backup uh, the time will depend and you can see as it was a very small backup file it has been extracted very quickly now the most important step is to auto delete the installer files so for that log into the admin area you have to use the same login details of your old website click on login and you should see this message this site has been successfully migrated and all the installer files are stored in this locations and you should also see that the installation cleanup ran and it has removed all the files that uh, for security reasons now let's go back to the installer page here and verify that everything is good you should not see any warning or notices here you can see the tables and rows and um, that's about it now you can see some of the things mentioned for review so first review the front end and you can see earlier it was just showing a waiting uh, text page this website is loading a bit slow uh, for some other reason but it has uh, nothing to do with the migration and you can see um, it is a duplicate of our old website it is looking exactly like that let's go back here and the second thing is if you want uh, you will if you want you can make some changes if you made some custom changes to your previous website files uh, in the wp config or the htaccess files then you will have to uh, check and redo them if required so just close this and the last thing i would recommend you to do is go to the file manager and verify yourself that there is no installer files remaining so i will reload this and you can see uh, there is no installer.php or the zip file it has all been deleted and cleared so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and you are able to restore or migrate your website if you have any questions please post them in the comments and always make sure you have proper backups before uh, doing these things thanks for watching this video i will see you next time